Driver's Beginner's Guide. This time it's to show you the workings of the dashboard buttons and getting you to know your way around all the dials on the Actros 2543 2015 UK spec model. I like to start on the steering wheel, the steering wheel controls. Up to the right hand side we have the controls for the speed limiter setting, uh, telephone if unfitted, just very self explanatory. Up to the left hand side of the steering wheel we have controls for the onboard computer system. The display is on the dashboard. Unfortunately, because the lights glare back when the ignition is on, it's very hard to actually um, focus in properly, but I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. So, for anyone used to using a computer or telephone menu systems, it is basically that idea. Um, selecting the menu button to the left will bring up a list of items on the centre screen. Um, and then using the arrows on the wheel, up, down, left or right, then that will move the icons on the display uh, and it varies from your driving hours, your engine management, i.e. the temperature, oil level, etc. Um, we also have the speed, which you can also change from miles per hour to kilometres. Your truck info is also displayed. This particular display is giving you the miles or the kilometers and also the time and temperature on the bottom. And just by right clicking, let's see if I can get them together. Speedo, that one's to set the alarm. Graphics tell you what's that's oil. And then you can go up or down then gives you subsections in the menu which you then right click and then when you're satisfied this was this one's had to do with the language it's set up very hard to say I'm sorry but they're just about showing you the flags and that gives you the the language and by scrolling up or down that's a bit better Info by going up or down will then give you your driving hours, times, and things like that. Um, when you've got the required setting, just press OK, and that will give you the setting you need. To the right is up and down buttons for the stereo, the loudness. Moving over to the dash. Start on the left. These two buttons are to do with your diesel particulate filters. The the system is a little bit complicated. However, um, you do get a card or an idiot's guide, if you like, on what to do. But it's all to do with manually pressing when your lights, when you get a, um, a warning light turn up on your dashboard. But I'll just show you a quick. This is what you get. It's, it explains when you get different warning lights what you have to do. 
It's all to do with green fuel technology. That's what you get. Is there also a step by step guide on the back of it? That's where you get the messages and the action you need to take. But it is a little bit complicated if you've never come across it before. These two buttons are the ones you need to use. So moving across, reversing alarm, switch it on and off, chassis level, that's all for explanatory. All push buttons, these are hazard warning, tag axle, lifting, or lowering. Diff lock, hill start, skip control, moving up, heating controls. One that a lot of drivers have asked me where it is, this button here, cab heater, very important in the winter. So a lot of drivers to miss that, temperature set by these buttons, cold, hot, and you have the speed, fan, fuel circulating, quick clear, printing screen, all push button, these are twist controls, self explanatory, the alarm set just above it for your cab alarm, and then above that you have Radio and CD to the right of the dashboard is the push button ignition and key. Fob system Mercedes now using the trucks. You have the to get around the steering wheel. Screen washer indicator stalk normal intermittent speeds, no windscreen wipers, press but the end button for the washer jets, up and down as normal for the indicators, and then obviously pulling for high beam. To the right hand side stalk. Very awkward because the steering wheel is always in the wrong place. Just one second, there we go. Okay, it's an automatic gearbox. Into D for drive, neutral, and then reverse. To the right of it, you've got the button. Move it the wrong way around. Select manual, auto, and then you get a third one, which is an, an economy mode automatic it reduces the uh, speed limit I think this one's set to 53 K's and then just reselect it get a dashboard icon just, there you go you got A for auto A auto economy and manual and that's your selector uh, it's also the retarder. Oh, let's go back to. There we go. It's, it's in stages. Up and down for your, your brake retarders. Side. Oh yes, another one that a lot of new drivers miss is the, if you can see it, let's see it, um, put the button on, there you go, where the red light 
is it just shows up that's the rear walkway light for when you're attaching your cables and airlines in the back walkway again push button and one more thing that a lot of guys don't get to see and find it strange where it is is if I can just get my boot is just see it shining there. Bottom left hand side. Well anyway down here to the left of the steering column is a button that you press with your foot. There's the pad. You just follow it to the end of that pad and press so hydraulically adjusts steering column for height and also for reach if I can do it one handed. So right there. Yeah. There you go. And once you found your position, just release your foot and it locks it in place. Echo. This is fitted with a onboard fleet system which we don't use. And then you've got your controls for your sunroof, reading lights, main lights, night lights. Uh, I think that's about it for controls. Obviously you have the your normal standard plugs and this unit is one, two that I'm Using, and then there's two on the passenger side um, on the door of normal door controls controlling the windows just push button again top sides and then you use the wheel to position your mirrors heated mirrors again push button on off uh, windows up and down and door locks. Well, I hope that's a little insight into the Actros dash, the buttons and symbols and what they mean. Um, again, it's mainly aimed at beginners who probably won't get told all the relevant information from transport management. That's how it is, I'm afraid, these days. Also, the horn is on the centre bezel of the steering wheel. It's just a push button. I mean, this uh, vehicle, it's horrible. It sounds like a kid's toy. However, that's what they've gone for. And can't think of anything else. So, as I say, I hope it's helped. Again, please visit my channel for more and subscribe if you like it. Thanks very much. See you again. This particular specification, uh, I don't know whether it comes on all of them in the UK, but it has the Proximity sensor, something very similar to what you've got when you're reversing sensors on your cars. So this has like a traffic light system, these light up when you get near. The sensors are in the front bumper around the edges on the corners, and then obviously it beeps. As and when the distance is reached. So I don't know whether they're on all Mercedes or just from this particular rental company. They're on both sides, near side and off side. 
so that the uh, the sensors pick up anything that's near to them. You can see the lights on both sides flashing. And check your water levels. In front of the grill, to the left and right. It. And one on the other side. Press it. She releases the catch. And hydraulic struts enables you to get to the water tank. Screen washer, top up bottle. Everything's here. That's needed. Just thought I'd show you that. back to the checking your yeah. water, your oil, and topping up your windscreen washer reservoir. Close it, the front, just pulling it down against the struts, bit of a push, and it will close back with a little click, and just to make sure that's it, it's closed properly. Little push, both sides, little pull, and there we have it. So, thank you once again. Hope you got a little bit more information out of this one again. Hope to see you soon on my next tips. Please subscribe. Enjoyed it.